It's Rick, the god dang stick reporting in here. And I'm going to give you guys a juicy freaking golden tidbit. Okay. My forearms are getting pretty freaking stacked. Okay. Get more stacked than my calves. Okay. When I measure the freaking diameter around my forearms, it's thicker now than my calves. Because first of all, let me fill you guys with some information here. I get a lot of comments about how I got chicken legs or got to bring the legs up. Okay, listen, again, had knee surgery. Finally getting back into it just yesterday. Barbell squatted 225 for eight. Okay, so we're getting back into the, the, the groove of things. You understand what I'm saying? We're kind of finally starting to put a little, little bit of weight on the back. Load the sack. You know what I mean? I'm saying nut up the go nads freaking... We're gonna get some horse legs, all right? It's just a matter of time. You can't rush physical therapy. What you can rush is the forearms, guys. Now, here's the golden tidbit. The golden tidbit, fellas, is we all know about grease in the groove. And if you don't know about it, you gotta look it up, okay? You gotta look up the freaking grease in the groove. This method was coined by the freaking Russian uh, freaking special forces uh, freaking coach guy, Pavel. Okay, he coined grease in the groove, putting a pull-up bar somewhere. You know, if you put it to your bedroom or you got a pull-up bar anywhere, every time you're walking by the pull-up bar, right, you bust out a couple. You don't max out, right? You save about half the reps in the tank because you're going to be banging that out multiple times throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going to the room, okay, bang it out. Boom, eat some foodsies. You know, go to the gym, gotta go change, gotta go to the room, oh, gotta bang some out, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, go home, pass, pass it by, bang some out. You get a lot of sets and a lot of accumulating volume, you know what I'm talking about? Now, here's the, the freaking golden tidbit, guys, is I went to the gym then after physical therapy, physical therapy is always two hours every single day, so you gotta understand that I'm training upper and lower every single day, about three, four hours of training a day, okay? I'm freaking exhausted. It's catching up to me big time. Now I can load up the legs a little bit more. But I only had a little bit of time because the wife got Lysol in her eye. I had to take her to the eye doctor. So I was like, all right, I freaking got freaking, uh, you know, about 30, 40 minutes to get after it. What should I do? I mean, this is all about the most cost effective movement within this time frame. You know, you get a juicy arm pump. I don't know. You know, you could. Is that going to give you the most bang for your buck? Probably not. So I brought the freaking fat grips, specifically the cone grips, this sesh. I tell you guys, and I saw I saw one of the rats nesters at the gym the other day, and he pulled out his freaking fat grips, and I have my freaking fat grips in my hands, and that's what it's all about. Because if you know, you know. You know, you freaking fat grip implements, okay? You want to freaking get some fat freaking muscle bellies, get the freaking fat grips. You understand what I'm saying? Fat grips. Banged up pull-ups, okay? Neutral grip, weighted pull-ups, freaking close grip, chin-ups with the fats, freaking wide grip, pull-ups with the fats, okay? Did that, freaking toasted. Everything's cooking, specifically, let me tell you guys something. When I do neutral grip, close neutral grip, chin-ups with the fat grips on, I even feel that in my chest. You know what I'm talking about? That's freaking activating every single muscle fiber in your upper body. But what's the golden tidbit, Sticky Ricky? Get to the point. The golden tidbit is you got to get one of those doorway pull-up bars, okay? You got to get one of those so that you can bang out pull-ups throughout the day. Golden tidbit is you got to put the fat grips on it because when you're greasing the groove, you're not going to the maximum anyways because you're not trying to toast those muscles to death, right? You're just trying to make them more neurologically more efficient, okay? But when you throw those fat grips on there, guys, again, accumulating volume and intensity, those fat grip suckers, man, those turn those pull-ups, you know, you freaking pull up here and when you got the freaking fat grips, you know what I'm saying? It's like, frick, toast your hands, toast your forearms. It just makes the pull-up that much better of a movement. So we can wrap this video up. I guess this video could have been 10 seconds long. Golden tidbit is you gotta grease the groove with pull-ups with fat grip handles. I mean, we're talking you want a freaking shortcut to be jacked and stacked, downright succulent, freaking uh, uh, the, uh, bulbous, curvaceous muscle bellies, you know, the fat grips, freaking door handle, okay, 
I don't care how you grease the groove. I don't care what you do, but throw those suckers on the handle. I'm telling you, you're gonna have a stronger grip. Okay, let me tell you something about fat grips real fast here. Let me tell you about something about fat grips, okay? When you put the freaking fat grips, here's another freaking golden tip I'm gonna throw you away. When you put the fat grips on, it's like, damn, that's hard, right? Those fat grips are hard. You're doing, you're doing freaking, okay, here's another freaking golden tidbit before I even get into that golden tidbit, okay? Lateral raises with fat grips, okay? They make lateral raises feel better, right? Sometimes fat, lateral raises, fatteral raises. And so there was a slip, but it's freaking go, fatteral raises, okay? They freaking stabilize that shoulder and they make that feel locked in and tight. And then let me tell you something, you wanna look like a freaking beast? You want calf delts and that big freaking horse forearms? Because horse forearms are what's gonna separate you from everyone else in the gym. That's what they're gonna be able to see that this is a real freaking man that they're dealing with, okay? You know, you got some, people got some freaking arms and some uh, skinny utensil forearms, you know what I'm talking about? But if you got freaking for, horse forearms, force, horse, the horse forearms, the force, that people are gonna know that you put some work in. You know what I'm saying? Forearms are a freaking sign that this guy, he, this guy put some work in, you know what I'm talking about? So, lateral raise, so listen guys, I'll give you some, let me give you some, some direction real fast here. Okay, one of my favorite things to do with the fat grips on is freaking for, uh, freaking delt, uh, freak, freaking dumbbells, okay? Put them on, even start with the freaking the fives and tens, doesn't matter, I like to freaking, um, I like to freaking, uh, I do laterals, right? Start off with laterals, from the laterals, you know, freaking bent over laterals, and reverse flies, whatever you wanna call them. From here, you know, toast, get it all toasty. Do the freaking circles, you know what I'm talking about? Kinda like the chicken wings, but you're doing a circle, circle, right? Cause that way you're still really capping those delts, okay? And all of a sudden that's kinda turned into a little freaking hammer curl, right? As your shoulders are getting toasty, you turn it into a hammer curl, right? And then from there, you're freaking, uh, <clears throat> you can do, you, you can do stupid in curls if you want, but I like the hammers and I like the reverse curls. Let me tell you another golden tidbit real fast. With the fat ribs and dumbbells, reverse curls feel good. I hated, I've always hated doing uh, reverse curls with dumbbells. It doesn't feel like good. It feels like instant tendonitis. With fat ribs on, it feels good. So anyways, boom, boom, freaking circles, hammer curls, okay? And then when you got those suckers in your hands, Okay, from here, you just freaking wrist curl it, okay? You do that giant set, you know, you start with the fives, the tens, you go to the fifteens, the twenties, the thirties, you work your way up to about the forties, the fifties, you're freaking toast, okay? And it's quick, and then everything is freaking bulbous, and the sweat is pouring, the forearms are pumped to hell, the delts are popping, right? Freaking buys are cranking, you know what I'm talking about? Um, <clears throat> Okay, we gotta go back, we gotta circle back to the other tidbit real fast. I don't remember what we're even talking about. Uh, damn it. Ah, uh, shit! All right, well I guess, I guess that's it, I'm sorry. I totally forgot, I lost track of what I was talking about. Uh, but that's the freaking, I mean those are plenty of golden tidbits right there. Damn it, damn it! Damn it.